Hey what's up guys, it's Will Patterson here again and here is a new illustrated tutorial and we're going to be doing offsetting today. And what do I mean by offset? Well, what I mean is this, if I just zoom in right here, and what I mean is this border here, you can see this is an offset of this shape. Now this shape is the actual shape that we're using, but we wanted to create something around it uh, to give it a sort of border feel. Now we could have done this with the stroke, but then we wouldn't have this sort of divide here. So if I zoom in here, you can see I've got two shapes. I've got one here that's outlined in blue. I've got one here that's outlined blue. And in here, I, don't, I can't select anything because this is not a shape. It's been cut out. So I'm going to show you how to create this because this is great for doing vintage sort of work or creating logo ideas. So I'm just going to create a new artboard over on the right, and then I'm going to show you. So I would take a shape like this very simply or any other shape I'll just do one uh, to show you so I'll create a, like a rectangle or whatever and then I would if, if you wanted to have that little uh, spike going up there what I do is I just hover over it I just go over like so object and then I go to path and I go to add anchor points uh, and what that does you can't see anything at the moment but if I click off and press A to get my direct selection tool up here instead of my selection tool um, if I just go into the center here, we've added two anchor points here. Now, if I was to do it again, so if I went up to Object, Path, Add Anchor Points, it would do it again, as you can see here. So that is the anchor points that it keeps adding. I'm just going to undo that so I don't have any of those anchor points. I'm going to press A, and then when I've pressed A, I'm going to uh, highlight this anchor point here and move it up by pressing uh, Shift. That green line you're seeing there is a smart guide. Now, what this does is it keeps in line... Um, everything so I'm not even pressing uh, shift or anything that's just keeping me in line now smart guides can be turned on in view and then you go to smart guides or you can press command U uh, turn them on and off so as you can see I've created my shape there I'm just going to move this up a bit more I've, right there maybe I want it to have a bit of um, what is it called rounded corners so I'm going to go to round corners in the effects tab I'll just do that again so you can see effects stylize and then rounded corners and then I'm going to press preview and then we're going to go and press shift and go on the upper arrows like so press OK and then because it's not an actual shape yet it's still got this path mark there you can only see the sort of rendered version of the image of the effect sorry I'm going to go and highlight it go up to object and then to expand appearance so that'll expand it so we actually have the shape there okay now what we're going to do is we're going to actually offset it so the way to offset it is to highlight it again and we're working mainly within the object panels most of the time in Illustrator. So there's a little tip for you. Everything that you want to do with sort of shapes is in the object panels unless you want to apply an effect then you would which go to effect. So we're going to go to object and then what we're going to do is we're going to go to path and then just below outline stroke you'll see this offset path and then we'll get this little dialog box come up. Now you always want to press preview so we see what we're doing. And as you can see, the offset is by 20 pixels. So you can see if I move it up and down with the arrow keys, the offset gets bigger and smaller. And you can see here, if I can't really zoom in too much, but um, uh, what you can see is you see this blue line. That's the actual shape. And then this other bit here at the back is a new shape. And it's taking the values of them and then keeping them constrained to the angles in, in the proper shape. Because what people try and do is they try and expand the small shape or decrease it and then keep the values the same, uh, which makes it not the values not actually have the same thing. So if you get what I mean, I'm trying to say is is that the only way to properly do this in Illustrator is by offsetting it. So I'm going to go up to 20, like so. And then the joins are mitre. It doesn't really matter. We could go round. Now round is a good one for here because. Uh, we, we're sort of using a rounded shape, we have no proper corners on it, so I'm going to go round. Then the, mi the mitre limit, we could go down and above, it doesn't really matter for this because we have no mitre joints. A mitre joint uh, is when a path, two paths collide and then you'll see that little spike. That's what it is. And then we're going to press OK. That's applied it and now nothing's really happened. So what we need to do is we need to hover over without clicking, you'll see this. This is the shape inside and then we can move that because this is just two separate shapes. So we can move this shape and then we have the offset at the back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a stroke around here. So I'm going to go up to here and then in my stroke panel down there I'm just going to press stroke. Like so we've got one pixel stroke. I'm going to bump that up to about an 8 pixel stroke. Now we see that's still a shape in there but you can sort of see it looks like this. 
The difference is with this is that it's actually the bit at the back is missing. So the actual bit's cut out. So what we need to do is work out a way to cut out this shape from that, including the stroke. So what we need to do is we need to, I'm going to zoom in actually, and then we're going to um, just press the middle um, shape, not the back one. I'm going to go to object again, path, and then outline stroke. This stroke has now been outlined, so it's not it's not an editable sort of stroke. So what we're going to do is we're going to highlight the whole image, so including the back, the whole shape, and then we're going to go to a Pathfinder tools there. And if you don't see Pathfinder, go up to Window and go down to Pathfinder or Shift Command F9 or Shift Control F9 on a PC. So highlight them all, and then we're going to press Divide. Now this divides all the shapes, so everything that's on top gets cut from the bottom. Um, and then it works in the order of how you view it or the layer stack. So what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in and we're going to try and move the shape. But you see it's all grouped and we can see it up here that it's grouped. So we're going to right click and press ungroup or you can press command shift and G to ungroup or control shift and G. Then what we'll see is when we've ungrouped it is that we have uh, a couple shapes. We have three shapes here. We have the out shape. And you can see that it's just one shape because we can see the two path outlines. Then if I zoom in, we have this other shape in here. Now I'm going to show you these two shapes here. These two shapes are the yellow ones here. I don't actually know why there's two of them, but we have two shapes there. So what we need to do is I'm going to show you the other shape actually in the orange. This is the stroke that we were using before, so we need to go and delete them. And uh, I'm going to go and just press them both by commencing... Uh, by pressing them and then holding shift down and pressing the other one then I'm going to delete them and that's how you delete them there then we want to make sure there's no other strokes on here by checking out the panel down here and it all looks fine and what we see there is we have the actual um, offset path and that's how it works just there and then you can group these together and then you can put your text inside there if you want I'm just going to put offset if you can see that you probably can't and I'm going to zoom it up a bit. And then there. Okay, whatever. I'm going to get rid of that. But that is basically how you offset, guys. So thank you so much for watching. In other news, I wanted to tell you really quickly is that I'm going to be uh, putting out paid tutorials online. And this is where you can go deeper into using Illustrator and Photoshop. But don't worry. Tutorials on uh, YouTube will still be there. But they won't be as advanced as the ones online. So if you want to grow in your um, education in the Adobe Creative Suite like this in CC and Photoshop and stuff, then you can go and check it out on there. I will also be doing After Effects tutorials. I'll put the link in the description um, in a few weeks time, but the problem is, is that we're still talking on the website of how I'm going to do it and what's going to happen in the pricing. So make sure you stay tuned for that. So guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in my next video. Goodbye.